Hey guys, it's Jamie from Recovery Inspired Hope. I'm super excited tonight. I have my beautiful sister in Christ and recovery sister Tashana here with me today. We're going to be talking about just how awesome God is and the wonderful things that he has done in her life and he is continuing to do and to shine through her. And we are just going to take a moment. We're going to pray real quick. Anybody that has been on my show knows that I never start a show without praying. We usually do it behind the scenes, but today we're going to kind of let you guys in on, on what happens before we go on. So you ready, girlfriend? Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yes. Lord Jesus, we thank you so much for this day and this time and this fellowship, God. We just... Holy Spirit, we just ask that you take over this interview. We ask yes. that you just anoint the ears and the hearts of those who are going to receive this, who are going to yes. hear this, God, that this message, Lord, is just going to turn people's hearts and eyes to yes. you and to know the amazing transformative power that yes. you have and that you are still putting out, God, that you are still on the throne today, no matter yes. what, no matter who, what's going on in the world, who's in charge, God, you are still on the throne and yes. still sovereign yes. over everything. And we just love you and we praise you and we give you all the glory in Jesus' yes. name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> all right so let's start with okay so let me just tell everybody how I met this beautiful woman right here so we met on a Facebook social media group called love by God tribe and I was just such a big fan of the content on that group um, and kind of started following her posts and stuff. And then we found out that we had a mutual friend, another sister of ours. And we were like, oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> so it was instant, instant connection. Um, yeah. I just instantly adored her. So um, I asked her if she wanted to come on. And because she has a beautiful story of redemption and a beautiful story of the delivering power of Jesus. Yeah. So... <laughs> Say hello, Tashana. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tashana Finner I'm from New York. Um, I'm just blessed to be here uh, this evening with you. Um, God has definitely done a lot in my life, and I'm definitely grateful for this uh, recovery story that he has put me on this road of recovery, right? Um, it's just been amazing. You know, um, I've had uh, 10 years in recovery not all clean 10 years. Um, I've had uh, four years and then relapse and then I had six years straight time. Um, but God is such a redeemer and, and he, such, he restores you from, I mean, the pit literally. Mm -hmm. And my story is that, you know, my story is that. So can I ask, um, so growing up, like how did your kind of starting with your substance abuse, how did that begin was it like uh high school kind of fun stuff or was it when you were way young well actually it happened as I got to be an adult um some things in life and mishaps in life um I was uh molested and then I was raped and had a baby out of a rape um and I just wanted to escape you know so mm -hmm. it, it started off as like a fun thing you know I would do it and and, and I would have fun in my mind, what I thought was fun, you know? And then it just turned into a, a need, you know? I depended mm -hmm. on it, you know? And that's, and that's like how the enemy gets you, you know? He, you know, it, it, it comes as fun first and then he leaves you out there, you know? So it became a dependency. It went to like a weekend thing to an everyday thing. And then I was known as like, that I became a functional addict. You know, I would go to work, I would do all my duties and, and, and I had children. So, you know, and it, it took me a long time to really gather and, and, and really look at myself and get myself together, you know? Mm -hmm. So, um, what happened that you decided to do something different my with children. your life, your children, my children, my children um, I recalled like the last time um, we was at a, I was at a, a known place where people would, would go and get high and things like that. And I got a phone call, you know, from my daughter because I would, I would make sure home was okay, okay quote unquote, and then go off, mm -hmm. do my thing, you know? Right. And 
that was the thing that kept me, you know, going because like, well, I'm keeping my home together and I'm just doing it this way, you know, in that denial stage, you know, Mm -hmm. and I got a call from my daughter that really just rocked my world. And it wasn't what she said. It was how she said it. And it was as if God was talking to me. She, I answered the phone and she just was like, mommy, where are you? Mm -hmm. And I felt like how Adam and Eve was in the garden hiding Mm -hmm. from God after they sinned. And and, and God was like, where are you? And it was like, you know, it was a calling. It felt like God was literally like saying, where are you? Where are you? You know, why are you hiding? Why, why are you doing what you're doing? And it was just something in her voice. And I dropped the phone and I literally ran out of the place and I never went back and that it that was my final that was it and I've been clean ever since wow and it's been six six years now six years straight clean now straight time yeah wow just one touch from God I mean one word and it was like almost like a hand just came out and just grabbed me out because it, it was all these signs that I needed not to go. But I just kept going to this place. It was like, it was uncontrollably. It, that's when I knew that I was back in the grips. Because you got to remember before then, I had four years clean. Mm-hmm, right. So and, I knew. And I that, knew. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> that, that pathway. So the, the first time you had come into recovery, you went wow. the traditional 12-step way. Yeah, I went traditional 12-step. And I, and, and even in that before four years, <laughs> I, I was in a program, a couple of programs where I went for uh, 30 days and then I went to um, a sober house and, and um, it was, then I got mandated, you know, cause I had some dirty, I got caught up in the law and I had some dirty urines and then they mandated me to a program and that was right before I did my four year stretch. And that's when I went away to Phoenix house and I went there for 18 month program. Is and that I in New York? Out. Yes, that's, that's, okay. the, that's the WP house out in Ron Conkoma. <laughs> and okay. I graduated from there. I went there the whole 12 months and graduated. And um, I had four years after that. So let me ask you, I know this is probably like a common question, but like, what do you think it was that was missing that you went back out? Like, did you stop doing what was working or was it your, your lack of relationship with God or what do you think it was? I believe that it was all the combinations. I believe, see, you can't just um, have a relationship with God and not listen to what the Holy Spirit is telling you. Mm-hmm. And yeah, and some of the principles that I did learn in, in, in other programs, I also implemented, but you got to implement all of it. Right. You know what I mean? You know, I went back around a lot of people, places and things, you know, sometimes you think you're super strong, you know, and, and you think you're trying to help someone and you can get caught up in that, mm-hmm. you know? And, and, and once you get caught up in it, you know, the enemy works on your mind and it's like, well, you might as well stay out here. You here now, you are too embarrassed to Ugh. go back to the church. You're too embarrassed to show your face now because now, you know, you, you said all this stuff that you was this clean person for all the, for four years and, and now you done re- relapsed, you know, and that's what the enemy does to keep you out there, mm-hmm. you know, and lo and behold, it was a very quick relapse, you know, but it was very hard relapse. Yeah. And I went back to my church family and they, they, you know, they opened me, they, they helped me with open arms and, 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 um, you know, I learned some jewels along the way with people, you know, from God's, with God's, God's people, you know, I didn't have a lot of, um, pointing fingers and things like that. You know, I was really blessed to have some real God fear and love and people in my corner. And my family was amazing, you know, my family, my family love was amazing. You know, they gave me tough love when I needed it, even though I got upset, but they never, ever gave up on me. 
and 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 that helped me too. I had a lot of support from my family. That's amazing. That's beautiful. Um, so okay, so now now you have uh, six years. Sober. Six years. Yes. Uh -huh. Sober. <laughs> and you are very active in ministry in your relationship with God. So tell us a little bit about what your life is like now. Well, now I'm just a, a worshiper of God and, and, um, you know, anything that that's, that's God centered, anything that, that the true believers of Christ are really seeking after or a part of, I want to be a part of, um, I definitely hooked up with amazing, amazing group, uh, Love by God Tribe, uh, Breakout 28, you know, and, and, and that's, that has been a new season in my life, you know, and it's been definitely healing in that. And um, through that, I'm birthed in some things that God have me doing right now. I'm, I'm getting ready to launch a, a recovery group called um, Revive Recovery Group, Christian Group. Or online YouTube, well, not YouTube, but online recovery channel, excuse mm -hmm. me, I'm a little nervous. But um, other than that, it's just being a part of amazing women, amazing people of God, you know? And your relationship with your children today. Oh, yes, it's, it's, it's being restored. You know, it always takes time. You know, I have three children, three girls, one 23, who kind of seen most of the ups and downs through my, you know, road of recovery. Mm -hmm. um, and then I have an 18 year old and I have a nine year old. And, you know, you know, our relationship has gotten a lot better. Me and my 23 year old, we're growing together. You know, it's been a rough road for her. You know, my middle one, you know, it's been a little easier than my 23 year old because she didn't see as much. And then my nine year old, she didn't see much at all. So, you know, but God is definitely restoring my family. And I'm also married. Uh, I've been married for four years now. Awesome. And, you know, that, you know, marriage is not easy. Marriage is ministry. So, you know, you know, I just, I just, I just, I just give everything to God and to put him first and, and foremost. And, and, you know, from that, I, I just try to just do what God has me to do as a, as a daughter of Christ, you know, mm -hmm. and but he's definitely restored my family. Definitely. Yeah. And marriage. I mean, we could do a whole show on that. <laughs> I'm good girl. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting married um in October. So I saw. Yes. congratulations. So we're we're super excited. And you know, we're have you ever been to um to the church in Douglasville, Manna from Heaven, where Jessica goes? I haven't been there, but I'm definitely gonna go. I'm definitely gonna go down there. And you know, that's my partner from the breakout 28. So I'm definitely going to make plans so we can definitely go and definitely be able to see you as well. Yes, that's where yes. we're doing our premarital counseling. Oh, and wow. It is, okay. it is heavy. You know, it is hardcore. It's deep. I mean, it's deep. Yeah. But it's very good that you're doing that. Yes. So. And yeah. so healing. So how I, I want to touch on something that you talked about. You were saying sure. that you know, before in your first, first rodeo in recovery <laughs> that you, <laughs> <The mid> rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> that you, um, you know, were working like a 12 step program, right. And yes. you were following some principles, but mm -hmm. not all of them, not all of the principle, the godly spiritual principles, right. Yeah. So tell, I, so what does that look like as far as like obedience goes and, you know, walking in that? Well, for me, I, I just had an issue with, with the deliverance, being delivered and following the steps. Mm -hmm. um, it, it was a conflict for me because I've always um, was under studying the word of God, you know? Right. So some yes. things was already instilled in me. Mm -hmm. And I had a, I had a problem with stating some things in um, the rooms, as you will, and right. really going through reco uh, recovery, way, recovery the way God intended for deliverance, complete deliverance. Yes. So I had an issue um, with saying some of the things like I'm a grateful addict and things like that, because I feel like, you know, um, a, a man shall, shall be, you know, he's supposed to be stable in all his ways. Like the word says, you know, you, a double man 
a double-minded man mm-hmm. can't be stable. That's and I right. feel like you can't read the word of God and, 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 and get delivered and then go back and say that, that you're an addict when you're delivered from, from this thing. So that's, that's my own personal right, um, right. belief. And, and just reading the word and studying the word and then some of the principles, it was a little hard for me. Right. You know, it just was a little hard for me. Mm-hmm. So I had to really surrender to what the Holy Spirit was leading me to do. Right. You know? And um, and with the Lord, you know, leading you in the direction, you know, maybe because he had was setting you apart for like a specific ministry, right? For like the yeah. ministry that you have now. Have you ever been to this group called Off the Chain? No, I haven't. In Dunwoody? No, I haven't. Oh my goodness. I just spoke there uh, last week and okay. it was so fun. Wow. <laughs> it was wow. This whole, it, it's like, it's basically like church, right? Okay. So you first go in and you're like mm-hmm. worshiping and they've got songs love and music. That's, yes. Love and, that. um, and then they have an altar call. Wow. And mm-hmm. it's, it's at uh, North Atlanta church of Christ. You okay. have got to go. It's on when I come Wednesday down. Seven. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's something I definitely can get into. So you would just love it. I was like, we have got to make one of these like everywhere. Everywhere needs to have this because, yeah. it, you know, it, and, and I spoke there and I was able to speak about Jesus, about yes. the delivering power, about yes. the authority that I yes. had that's, inside that's to it. decree and declare things over my life. Yes. Um, and it was just, I, it was very freeing, you know? I think because... I saw your pictures from that. Yes. I did, <laughs> that you posted. Yes, I think I've seen that. See, and that's what it's all about. You know, that's that's what it's all about. And and mm-hmm. right there, being a part of something like that, that's amazing, you know? And, 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 and that's the freeing, that's the freeing moment that I want to help others get, you know what I mean? If I can. Mm-hmm by the way of the Holy Spirit, the way of God leading me, you know, down this road of recovery and helping others. And I, that's what I want to, I want to be a part of that, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do. So what would you say to a young woman who, um, you know, was just on and off, in and out, this way and that way, trying to find her way? What piece of advice, what would you say to her um, if she could hear you speak right now. Wow. I would say just keep pressing on, you know, don't give up on yourself. Um, sometimes you got to open up and let somebody help you, you know, cause sometimes you don't want to put that hand out. Sometimes you, you just want to keep things inside, you know, it's important to reach out and to speak up you know what I mean? And, and ask for help and that you're not alone. And it's okay to be different. You don't have to go with the crowd and it's okay to stand out by yourself sometimes because when you stand out by yourself, there's someone just like you standing out there too. And if, and if you're in the right place at the right time, you'll connect with those people and you won't be alone through this journey, you know, because I believe that's one of the biggest things that the enemy do. He tries to mm-hmm. keep you isolated and have you think that nobody cares and you're the only one going through this, you know? And, and I just believe if you, if you put your hand out and you open up your heart, you know, because the enemy wants you to stay quiet, you know? Mm-hmm. And it's okay. It's okay to speak your truth. It's okay, you know? And I believe once you do that big step by speaking your truth, I believe that God will lead you and you'll find salvation and you'll find the right people, you know, as you go through your journey. It's not a, it's not a, it's not, it's not, a, I'm not going to sit and tell you it's not an easy journey. It's not. But if you do the first step by just admitting where you are and that you need help by just saying, Lord, I need help. Or to someone like, listen, I need help you'll be amazed where you'll go after that, mm-hmm. you know? Surrender. Surrender, <laughs> that's right. Surrender, surrender to Christ. First, you, if, and if, if you feel like you can't, you know, step into a church or 
or anything like that or speak to, because some people feel like they're too dirty. Just mm -hmm. make a phone call to someone. Make a phone call to someone, someone that you trust, you know, and just trust someone to just tell them a little bit about what you're going through, you know, so you're comfortable to really step into doors of recovery, you know, because sometimes some people are running to recovery door. Some people, they're like sliding their feet, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you know, some people are not that open to it, but, you know, it, it takes little baby steps. You just need to take that one little baby step and, and God will take you the rest of the way. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much, Tashana. Um, tell everybody one more time where we can find you. Um, Facebook, Loved by God Tribe, right? Yes, yes. Loved by God Tribe. Um, our founder is Michelle Spence Jones. Um, I'm pretty sure people have heard of her already. She has an awesome book, Loved by God. Um, we, I'm a part of the Breakout 28. And I'm also launching um, Revive Recovery Christian Group, which, you know, look out for, like the page Can't if wait. you see it. Um, this video is going to be my breakout video. <laughs> so <laughs> listen, I'm just blessed and honored that you even asked me to come on your platform this evening and just share the good news of Christ yes. and delivery and, you know, deliverance and recovery in Christ. Yes. Thank you so much. All right, everybody, make sure you check her out. And we will see you next time on Recovery Inspired Hope. Make sure you subscribe to Jamie Tall on YouTube. Have a nice night. <laughs>